AMD CPU. Good day everyone and welcome to Slush Mining. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today we're talking about CPU mining. Is it still profitable? We're going to cover electricity cost and ROI on specifically AMD CPUs. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Please leave a comment down below with your Bitcoin and Ethereum address for future giveaways. Let's get into it. Looking at the price of Monero, it's currently trading at $159. We're going to be mining specifically with AMD CPUs and what the hash rate is for each CPU. Currently our exchange rate for the South African Rand is 14 Rand 61. Our kilowatts that we're using is about 2 Rand 91 per kilowatt and that equates to 20 cents in USD. As we look at the CPU specifically, I've got the Ryzen 3100, Ryzen 3600, 3700, 3900 and 3950. I left the 3800 because the 3700 and 3800 is quite close together. I've added the newer CPUs which is the 5600, 5800, 5900 and the 5950. We have the price of each card what the watts is, which is either 65 watts or 105 watts. Makes it easier to work out the electricity cost. The hash rates are from 4,200 to 18,000. All the hash rates were pulled from NiceHash. If you take a closer look at the profits per day, I've populated the USD profit and the RAND profit. 36 cents for the Ryzen 3100, 56 cents for the 3600, 78 cents for the 3700, $1.10 for the 3900, and $1.39 for the 3950. If we're looking at the newer Ryzen CPU starting from the 5600, you're looking at about 68 cents. The 5800 generates about 92 cents. The 5900 generates about a dollar and 28 cents. And the 5950 generates about one dollar and 65 cents. Looking at the monthly profits, this is after electricity cost. The Ryzen 31 generates the least at 21 Rand per month, which is actually next to nothing. Electricity cost is 136 Rand. So definitely not mining with that Ryzen 3100. The 3900 looks a bit more promising. The 3700 has the best ROI, generating about 205 Rand per month, 2468 Rand per year. Looking at the Ryzen 5600, it takes about 42 months to ROI. 5800 is even worse at 55 months ROI. 5900 and 5950 doesn't do too bad with 37 months, but that's still quite long because that's about three years. If you have any of these CPUs, they do generate some sort of income. Let's take a look at what to mine to see if there is any other cryptocurrencies that are more profitable than Monero. Taking the hash rate of the 3100 at 4200 hashes per second. So the Ryzen 3100 hashes at 4200 hashes per second at 65 watts. We're going to be using 20 cents. Let's calculate that. Okay, profits were at 41 cents. It's now at 36 cents, but as you can see that it's not very profitable. You have about four cents after electricity. So let's use the 3600, which is 6600 at 65 watts. So I've populated 6600 hashes per second at 65 watts. Let's calculate. 
and we're looking at 56 cents for Monero and there is one specific one that's two two cents more which is quantum rl and you'll be generating about 0 0.0035 monero per day and this is with the ryzen 3600 the cpus are still profitable but it's not worth going out and buying a cpu to mine specifically with it it's still profitable to buy your gpu and mine into bitcoin or mine specific coins with that gpu so if you're looking at the ryzen 5800 it costs 10,000. the 3060 ti costs the same and it's almost three times more profitable I'll try and get one of these higher end CPUs like the Ryzen 5900 for my productivity machine just to test the hash rate as well because I'm going to need to upgrade my PC soon so maybe get the 5900 and see what it does let me know if you're still using your CPU in the background to mine with when you're not using your PC Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Don't forget to leave your Bitcoin and Ethereum address and where you're from so that I can start doing giveaways. Hope you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.